Former Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown doesn't have many nice things to say about Harry and Meghan in her new book about the royals. Brown does, however, make a prediction about the couple's complicated future with the royal family. Keep watching to find out what it is. The world was rocked two years ago by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step down as working British royals. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. The press assumed that this was a blind side to Harry's family, despite the fact that the couple told Oprah how Megxit really happened. They proceeded to put down roots in California, launch their nonprofit Archwell Foundation, and join forces with Netflix to create programming that informs, elevates, and inspires. It would appear that Harry and Meghan are content to live as non working royals. However, at least one expert thinks the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may yet make another go at palace responsibilities. In a recent interview with BBC Radio 4's Today program, former Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown said that the current perilous state of the monarchy may prompt a return for the estranged couple. Brown said, Harry and Meghan leaving was definitely a blow for the monarchy because they did represent a more modern, royal couple, and I think there will be an effort to reel them back in at some point. Not for a bit, but my guess is that they will want to come back, actually. However, the royals expert added, Harry's behavior will keep a reconciliation from happening right away. Tina Brown is no fan of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as her book, The Palace Papers, attests. She paints Harry as an angry and mentally fragile man, and Meghan as a brash American outsider who hurried into marriage before she fully understood what her palace role and responsibilities would be. I took matters in, by that point, I took matters into my own hands. It was like, I need to do this for my family. Still, she allows that they have an appeal among many young fans, which could come in handy in the future. Sadly, the Queen's extraordinary reign will soon come to an end, which Brown says will be a seismic event and traumatic for Great Britain. Prince Charles will have the unenviable task of carrying on his mother's legacy while trying to make the monarchy relevant to the next generation. In her BBC Radio 4 interview, Brown suggested that Harry may feel called to step up and help. Brown said, I think when the Queen does die, I do believe there will be a kind of desire for Harry to serve his country. I think he's going to want to rethink it, probably." Brown also hinted that the prince may also be disappointed with the progress of his production deal with Netflix. The partnership suffered a major setback when Netflix cancelled Pearl, the proposed animated series that Meghan created. Don't look for Harry and Meghan to move into Windsor Castle anytime soon, however. Brown said that the fresh hand grenades Harry has thrown at his family, such as his shocking statement about protecting the Queen, have made it difficult for his family to trust him. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle recently met with Queen Elizabeth II as they traveled to the Invictus Games held in the Netherlands. Their pit stop at Windsor Castle was the first time they visited the Queen since they moved to the U.S. in 2020. In an NBC interview with Hoda Kotb, Prince Harry reflected on how it felt to visit his grandmother after such a long separation. The Duke said, Being with her, it was great. It was, it was just so nice to see her. Yet, what he said following that statement may have landed him in hot water in certain circles. Harry stated, I'm just making sure she's protected and has got the right people around her. What protection Queen Elizabeth may need is now the subject of speculation. The Mirror reports that Harry may feel he needs to protect his grandmother from the royal staff, Prince Charles, Prince William, or even the public due to security threats. However, the need to protect his loved ones may stem from the heartbreaking car accident that took his mother's life. That was, understandably, one of the reasons why he reportedly felt the need to protect his wife. In the Apple Plus series, The Me You Can't See, the Duke shared, you want to talk about history repeating itself? They're not going to stop until she dies. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.